How are you doing, everyone? My name is Bill Calhoun, and I have some unpackaging and a trial for some fitness bars. So um, the first one I'm going to do is I'm going to do these. This is called a Tane, and these are considered nutritional bars. I just got these. And on the back, it says that it has whey milk that signals the brain, potato enzyme extract for the brain, and beta glucan for oats and barley for the stomach, satisfies the stomach, and then chicory root flour, fiber, okay? So I just want to take a look at this. We're going to open this up for the first time. Now, on this box here, it says that there are 10 grams of protein, 10 grams of fiber, and 160 calories. And the reason why um, I'm looking at using this is because I'm getting ready to go on a, a transformation journey. Uh, it's actually a transformation challenge. And I need to have something that has uh, a nutritional quality, whereby I, I keep my calories within my range. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to see what these are about. Okay, so this is called the Tain Nutritional Bars. And they actually say that it's, uh, if you can see that, it's uh, Crave Blocker, right? Okay, so it has Crave Blocker here. So we'll see if this thing actually makes me feel like <laughs> I don't want to eat anything. And this one is Chocolate and Caramel Nut. And I have another one that is chocolate and caramel nut as well. So let's just open this up. Um, first thing I like is I, lo I love the photographs, okay? The photographs that they have on the box look really cool. They look re really inviting. And that chocolate looks like really deep chocolate. Looks kind of cool. So let's just take a look at this. Let's open this up. Now before we do, let's take a look at the ingredients on here. Okay, so on the back they have soy protein crisps which means it has soy protein isolate, cocoa, processed with alkali, tapioca starch, salt, soluble corn fiber, sugar. And that's the thing, a lot of people get confused about sugar, you know, as to whether or not it's a bad thing. I don't think it's necessarily a bad thing, it's the amount that you have. Um, so anyway, Crave Blocker. Now that's, that's interesting because it says Crave Blocker here, which means it's a proprietary um, ingredient. Who knows what that means? Um, then it has brackets, chicory root fiber, oat fiber, whey protein isolate, rolled oats, barley flour, potato protein extract, potato maltodextrin, <laughs> peanuts, fractionated palm kernel and palm oil, fructose, so there's another sweetener in there as well, um, glycerin, water, unsweetened chocolate, cocoa processed with alkali, natural flavor, soy protein isolate, gum arabic, whey protein concentrate, butter, cream salt, salt, cocoa, soy, lecithin, milk, butter fat, and a par tree, and a pear tree. Okay, so anyway, and it, uh, so on the side here, so you see the side panel, okay, these nutritional labels, those are kind of cool to look at. So from right here, one bar inside of here has, um, let's see, it has a total of 160 calories, and total fat is six grams. Saturated fat, four grams. Trans fats, none, like a lot of products nowadays. Cholesterol, zero. Sodium, 190 grams. And this is per bar now. This is not per box, okay? Uh, total carbohydrates is 23 grams. Now, for me, during my challenge, what I need is I need a total of 1,700 calories per day, and I need to keep my carbohydrates up to 50 grams of carbohydrates a day, not a meal, a day. So actually, one of these bars, at least to stay within my carbohydrate range, or maybe two of these bars, no, one of these bars would be fine for me, okay? And sugars and whatnot. Protein, it has 10 grams. And so my daily protein intake is 112 grams of protein. So this would work for a very small fraction now. So let's just take a look here. All right, let's open this up. So we have a perforated side here. And so that's how the, the box stacks up. They have one, two, three, four, five, six. So there's six bars inside of here. And there's a lot of space. So they're not, they're not as big as I thought they were going to be. So let me just set that there. Okay, so it comes in this little uh, 
cellophane little baglet. Okay, and that's chocolate. Let's just take a look at this. So I'm going to open this up and give it a wing ding. Okay. I'm just going to give it a little smell. So it smells like chocolate, but it's not that, it's not a, a, like a real heavy duty chocolate smell. You can actually tell that there's, uh, there's like lecithin and, and protein in there because there's a different kind of smell with like pure chocolate that you get from like a Hershey bars or something and chocolate that's in um, nutritional bars because it, it takes on the, the, the smell of all the other stuff that's inside. Okay, so that's that. Okay, so that's the bar. That's how dark it is. Let me open that up. I'm just going to use my hands here. I'm going to take the whole thing off. Okay. And as you can see, it um, looks kind of cool, actually. It looks like the craters of the moon or something. And immediately I can feel the chocolate is, is, feels like it's melting. And so that's a good thing because you know how you get those donuts sometimes, like at Mr. Donut or some other place, how the chocolate is like rubber or plastic and it doesn't even melt? Well, obviously, this is real chocolate. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take off a bite here. Okay. And that, it looks really like solid chocolate. Okay. That's a real solid chocolate piece there. You see that? Yeah. Okay. Let's give this a shot. Hmm. Hmm. I taste the crunch. Mmm. You know, I really wasn't expecting much because I'm so familiar with nutritional bars that taste like rubbish. But you know what makes this? It's not so much the chocolate, even though it's overwhelming in the color and, and the consistency. It's the caramel. Well, that is really nice. The caramel just comes out and hits you right in the face. Hmm. And what I like about this is you don't get that, that sawdusty taste afterwards because there's all those chemicals and stuff like that. This is actually, this is really tasteful because, yeah, because see, so, so now that I'm finished, I don't feel that powdery taste in my mouth and there's no aftertaste. It's only when I eat it. Holy Crap. I think I can do with these bars, man. Hmm. And this thing is it's quite heavy. So it's not like just because you have the honeycombs inside, which is what I can taste, I can and you can hear the, the crunches going on from the honeycomb or whatever it is. What is that inside there? Bitty oats and barley. Okay. And then that root fiber potato inside. So I think what it is, is that it's the oats inside there that you feel that crunch. And so that consistency is really quite nice. It's not like gummy and it's not powdery. It's not gluey and there's no aftertaste and, it, and it's coming off on my hands. So that chocolate is like for real. And actually, actually, that's a lot of bar. <laughs> Whoa. Um, this is 160 calories, and like they say, the crave blocker, I can't imagine myself eating anything after this. So this is pretty wicked. I wish I could eat 10 of these a day <laughs> as meals, but I can't because then I'll, I'll go over my carbohydrate content. So in terms of crab, crave blocker and a good tasting, and it's not sweet. It's not really, really sweet. It's just enough. Actually, I can't even taste the, the sugar in it at all. There, there's a really nice mixture of the chocolate and the caramel, but like I said, the caramel bumps out at me even more. Wow. I'm going to put this down because I'm getting all over my hands. I'm going to save that for later. Mm. So, attain nutritional bars. I'll put a link below so you guys can check this out. But I'm impressed. 
literally, because I've tasted hundreds of nutritional bars, and that's wicked, plus you get to lick your fingers. So I'm Bill Calhoun. Stand by next time as I review another nutritional product. We'll, we'll catch you later. Bye-bye now.